Julie Adams driving it means I get to film we're going down to Atlanta here and uh, we're actually going to Sandy Springs Georgia to play Steve's live music Heading to Memphis. Julie's driving again. We're She's, in Memphis. We are, in fact, in Memphis. We're heading to uh, How Advance Academy. I've been going nuts with that. Great, the late great Buster B. Jones. Uh, pull that through there. All the way, pull it tight. Wrap that underneath. See, we've come underneath. We wrap that underneath. Now, the friction of that on that, that's not going anywhere. Now, you don't need any of this stuff. That's about E right there. What I'll do is I'll over tighten it a few tightens, a turns, and I'll hold this for about 20 seconds before snapping point. I just hold that there, hold it here, hold it there, hold it here, stretch it everywhere because all of it needs to stretch. And now, now it, what you do is you tighten it to it where it's about a semitone too high and in a couple of hours it will be where it needs to be and it won't move pretty much you might just have to stretch it a little bit more here and there but that's it and we'll do it one more time with the a string so we go pull that under there pull that real tight tighten that up Stretch it. Just feel it. I can feel it settling in. I can feel it slacking off. Now I'll let it settle on its own and in about two hours that will be down to pitch um, and it will be ready to go and it, it won't really go anywhere. Kirby's driving us. 
Thank you, Cubby. How you doing? I'm not awake yet, but thank you. What are we doing? We are on our way to pick up what I have newly dubbed the Beast. We're heading to Houston. Flying down to Houston today and we'll be driving back in the Beast. We're aboard our flight from Nashville to Houston, Bush Airport, trying not to freak out about having to drive a 32 foot, 32 foot giant, we're calling it the beast. It's the beast right there. It is. It is. Where is the remote for the two First time in the RV. Oh, wow. There's okay, a ton yeah. of space up there. I'm going to turn this off so you can. Okay, but this is the TV right here. And it comes open back here. Yes. For some space. Let me show you. Always shut the door when you come in, y'all, because you've got the uh, AC on. You just have a lot of counter space and that's real unusual. Okay, yeah. this makes it too bad. You guys eventually are gonna wanna reupholster all this because yeah, we'll it's that, that flaking on it. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, one thing that's nice here. Why did she have the, is this pull out pantry? Yes. Oh, hey, Isn't that know. nice? Yes. Look at that. Pearl pull, pull. Okay, I don't know why she had this shut because now there's no air in here, but. It's all right. Here's your, she's got this on there. I'll show you when we get in here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I put a shoe over Yeah. And you know what? That's the thing to do. A lot more space. Oh, it's fab and fabulous. And you got all this storage in here, y'all. Fabulous. Look at that. It's already made up. Oh, we got the okay. generator running right now. No, we have plugged in and hooked up to water. Oh, okay. And we have. Uh, Priorities. A celebratory meal, I say. Papacitas, my favorite place in Houston. Fantastic. Happy to have a Tex Mex lunch before we go back and do the checklist. On the RV, she gave us like three pages of things we need to check off before we pull out of the driveway. And what are we doing? Heading right back home to Nashville. All right. <laughs> but uh, we're both pretty excited. Yeah. We're very, very cool. Look at the size of that bag of chips. Oh! I can tell we're in Houston that the salsa is fiery. Oh my goodness. Okay, do you ever serve extra honey or is there enough on there? What do you say, Jules? This is it. Driving the 32 foot RV. Yeah. Till I die. 
How's it driving? <laughs> it's driving like a giant thing. It's <laughs> it's actually it's not it's not bad to drive. It kind of feels like driving a giant van, but it's you know a little bit squirrely, a little bit you know. But people say that you should really drive during the day, not at night, and like arrive at your destination, especially if you have hookups during the day so you can see, and I totally agree with all of that, because I can't see nothing out there right now at night, but we're just going to a hotel, so that's good. West Memphis, not too far to go. Yeah. 